Hello YouTube, how are you guys? My name is Masabuir and today in this brand new episode of my channel, I am going to share something called Vector. Vector is actually an alternate software or program of Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. You can use it for your logos, thumbnails, banners and yada yada yada. And the funny thing is, you can do it for free. So without further ado, let's begin. So guys, the first thing is first, go to the vector home air page download or home page slash download. Oh my God. Yeah, whatever. Go to the download page, which is right in front of me. All the links are in the description. So you don't have to search for it. Just click and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. So guys, the next thing you would wanna do is go to and click this greenish button right here download it's free yes it's uh, really free or if you don't want to download it you can use it online but in this video i'm not gonna focus on this online thing i'm gonna just download in show it to you so yep i have already downloaded and installed after installation you are going to observe this dude right here and it's really cool huh i'm gonna just open this dude and login page of vector and the next thing is you are going to sign up or sign in so just because we are new to this software we are going to sign up so basically i'm not gonna so here we are yeah this is the interface of vector so as you can see there is already a file that is called welcome to vector and i don't want to open this scrap i just gonna to have to delete this thing because i don't need it i'm gonna open my new file or i'm gonna create my new file so by creating so to create a new file i'm just gonna click this blue button and this is it guys as you can see these there are pages layers all the everything's the same everything is the same you can make everything you can make your logos banners and for you guys who are thinking that most of them are, what what kind of what kind of what kind of crappy size is this what kind of crappy page size so yeah before judging my you are going to go to pages and you're gonna uh, add page oh sorry and after adding pages you're gonna select the custom size as you can see here the size and there are a bunch of things your facebook cover photo and this is the um, this is the facebook's cover photo size as you can see the square box you can zoom in or zoom out by rolling your mid mouse button and pressing control and the next thing if you, you want to make for your youtube channel this would be your youtube channel's banner yes this is it and this is pretty cool everything is kind of ready made you don't have to hesitate and you don't have to worry about anything and the next thing if you want to make and this is called uh, linkedin or your youtube uploads this is uh, i don't know what this is but this is for youtube <laughs> whatever or you can choose your size papers you can choose the A1, A2, A3, your US paper, later legal, and pre pretty much everything. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna show or I'm gonna share the YouTube upload. That is YouTube thumbnail. So guys, this is the size of YouTube thumbnail, and I'm gonna make this thing easy for you. So the first thing first, you're gonna open the page. I have already opened three pages for whatever reasons and whatever and as you can see this thing is kind of hollow and this is the whole dimension we are going to work in so the first thing is just click the rectangle tool and drag it from this end to this end right here and yeah you can as you can see at the right side of your uh, screen you can see all the setting that you can mess up you can change the color you can do whatever you want for example for example for example for example i'm gonna choose this kind of color i'm gonna choose this kind of color whatever and the next thing i can do is i'm gonna add a border so to me i don't know yeah i just oh yeah yeah i can i can even add a border 
Oh my god, I can't see any water. This is... Oh, whatever. Oh, shut up. So, the next thing, the next thing I would do is I'm gonna add some shapes. And to do this, I'm gonna click this rounded rectangle and I'm gonna drag, drag, drag this thing. I can't see because the color is blue and I'm gonna change the color to white or even yellow which is pretty cool which is pretty shitty but it's pretty cool because it's a tutorial and it's not gonna be that professional so yes and yeah we are making a thumbnail which is really cool and as you can see I'm gonna I'm playing with this layer too you can lock the layers you can lock the layers you can even unlock it and you can uncheck it to see I'm gonna oh yes this is it it's pretty cool the next thing which is you, you should know about it you can add eclipse you can add circles and as you can see it's I'm gonna change the color and guys as you can see if I am drawing a circle and I'm, I'm moving the mouse cursor it's out of proportion so to do that I'm gonna press shift and I'm gonna drag this thing just like Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator if you are familiar with those and it's pretty decent software you can work with it and it's really satisfying so the next thing I want to add is um, I want to I want to I want to use pen tool and pen tool is pretty much same like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. I'm gonna click once, and the next thing is whenever I click everywhere, anywhere, I'm gonna drag this thing just like this. And just because you can't see the, and yeah, you can work out with it, you can experiment new thing. And the next thing you can play with the layers as I told you earlier. Uh, for example, I want I want to delete this path. I just have to click on the layer, and I'm gonna delete this. Oh, I'm gonna delete this. Hey, uh, yeah, the thing has been deleted. So the next thing is called text. Yeah, text is really nice. You just have to click once, and boom, what you have to write whatever you want. Exactly. Now to edit the text, just click on the text, and yeah, pretty much the same. I'm gonna. I'm gonna select the size to 85 as you can see this is pretty nice oh it's really big it's pretty big oh yeah so yeah whatever it's a tutorial yeah I'm gonna change the background to white so or blue or red oh, I don't know yeah yeah red is nice so yeah this is the um, text you can change the font you can play with different font that are that are on your PC and I don't know for whatever reason the font names aren't sh are not showing up so uh, yeah pretty much so you can change the alignment you can make it to center you can change the height the background color the border you can change the border too so this would be the stroke in photoshop's or adobe illustrator's language and here it is called water you can choose the shadow so this is pretty nice thing you can choose the shadow color and you can change the blur and the spread pixel as you can see it's pretty much changing and if you wanna remove the setting you just have to press you just have to click this stick button I have selected this and the setting is pretty much the same and you can play with the opacity you can uncheck the opacity in order to remove the yeah you you know what I'm saying don't play dumb you know what I'm saying whatever so this is pretty much the same and yeah this is it you can do whatever you want so basically I want to share beautiful application with my beautiful friends because I want to make it easy for you because not everyone can afford Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator and just because I wanted to share this very tutorial for you guys and this is it so I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial and if you guys have any questions related to the software or related me or related to my channel feel free to ask 
So don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in next video.